If you want to get your PFSense firewall up to the latest version as of the 11th of December 2023, this video is going to walk you through how to do it. So basically we're going to look at upgrading from 2.7.1, which came out only a couple of weeks ago, to 2.7.2. Um, now, especially if you're following my videos, I'd make sure that you've at least upgraded to 2.7.1 before proceeding, or 23.09 if you're using the PFSense Plus Edition. So upgrading from 2.7.1 to 2.7.2 or 23.09 to 23.09.1 um, is a fairly easy task and there's not that much involved in it because 2.7.1 or 23.09 only came out a couple of weeks ago. So there's not that many changes as of yet. But upgrading from 2.7 to 2.7.1, there were a couple of issues that I've covered which could become a problem, especially if you're using older ciphers. So maybe worth just checking those videos and making sure they're not going to cause you a problem if you're on a version prior to 2.7.1. But take a quick look at the videos that I've done. You can see I've covered upgrading PFSense 2.6 to 2.7 uh, and upgrading to 2.7.1, 23.09. So this is 2.7.2 uh, or 23.09.1. Now we'll head over and uh, take a look at the changes, why you need to upgrade, um, and we'll do it on a live system just to show how easy the upgrade goes. Now of course it does depend on the packages that you've got. I tried it on my case, I only had a couple installed, Tailscale and WireGuard, but it went swimmingly and I didn't have that many issues, but I didn't expect it with the upgrade to 2.7.1 only being a couple of weeks ago. The update from PFSense 2.7.1 to 2.7.2 um, is a minor update and shouldn't take too much to do. Uh, and the same from 23.09 to 23.09.1. As you can see, the uh, release notes are pretty much exactly the same. Uh, and the reason it's a minor update, um, it won't take too much to update your PFSense. And so you shouldn't need to remove all the packages and stuff. However, there are some um, FreeBSD vulnerabilities which have been addressed. One of them being TCP spoofing vulnerability in the PF firewall. Uh, and there's a potential ZFS data corruption. Um, I've not seen the ZFS data corruption affect anything. Um, but basically, if we take a look at the PF one, um, I'm not going to go too much into it. It, is a, it has been fixed in um, FreeBSD. Um, funny enough, OpenBSD fixed this in 2011. The basics of it are an attacker can, with relatively little effort, inject packets into a TCP stream destined for a host behind a PF firewall. This could be used to implement a denial of service attack for hosts behind the firewall, for example, sending TCP reset requests. Um, so it is um, important that it's done. And with the ZFS data corruption, um, a check did not test both for the D node itself and its data for dirtiness. This provides a very small window of time while a file is being modified where the dirtiness check can falsely report that the D node is clean. If this happens, a hole may incorrectly be reported where data was written. So that's um, the ZFS data corruption and the PF firewall which is being addressed. There are a couple of other issues which are addressed. So high CPU usage by ZFS kernel threads. Um, I'm not going to go into these, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, AES GCM implementation may give incorrect results uh, and there's incorrect results from kernel physical memory allocator um, performance issues in OpenSSL have also been identified so it is pretty much an important update that being said it should be pretty straightforward to do so let's head over and take a look at this system wise we've got um, I do have a couple of packages installed on this now I'm not Obviously, the um, recommended way to upgrade PFSense is to take a backup, remove all the packages, and then restore the backup. In this case, I'm not going to do that. Um, I will take a backup, however, because that's pretty important. So we'll go into go to Diagnostics, Backup and Restore. I'm just going to download that. We've got the backup. Um, next, I'm just going to go into uh, System. In fact, if we have a look at the dashboard, This says I'm on uh, 
that 23.0.9.1 is available, but I'm on 2.7.1, and it's because it used to have the um, PFSense Plus on it. I'm going to need to go into Update. Now I'm going to need to change it to current stable release 2.7.2. We'll go ahead and confirm. So we'll let the update just go through. Um, as I say, I'm not bothering removing any packages because it, it is a quite a minor update as far as packages go. Now I've just got to wait for the system to come back. Okay, we're back online, so we can go ahead and uh, log in. As you can see, the system's now on 2.7.2, .2 and it is completely up to date. So there wasn't that many changes with regards to PFSense itself. There was more um, with regards to the underlying operating system. All our packages are up to date. We're fully back online. I hope that helps if you're looking to upgrade to 2.7.2 .2, uh, or 23.09.1 and you just wasn't sure what quite was involved. Um, if you did find this video useful, please hit that like button. Consider subscribing to the channel and if you hit the notifications icon, you'll receive notifications of any new videos as they're done. I'll see you in the next video.